All right, you guys, today we're going to check out how to make this pixelated glitch effect here in After Effects inspired from Sentimental. Go check out his YouTube page. He got some insane After Effects experiments. Step one, let's create a new composition, rename it as text. I got to go with 1080 by 1080p, 25 frames, 5 seconds, black background. Click OK. I got to go with the letter X as a reference. And I went with the Neue Haas Grotesque Display Pro. Now we're also gonna need to move this anchor point right into the center. So I'm gonna press and hold control and double click on the pen behind. So now it's gonna jump perfectly into the center. Now let's go and activate the 3D. As you can see, I don't have it right here. So I'm gonna go to the toggle switch, click on it, and it's going to appear, click on the box, and also make sure that you're on the advanced 3D. I also gonna change up the camera angle, custom view one. Let's go to the layer settings and open up the geometry options. Here we got the extrusion depth. I'm gonna increase it to 100. And I'm gonna need to change up the anchor point because right now, as you can see, if I put it on left, the XYZ anchor point is on the right. So basically it's going to rotate from the right side and it's not good. We want it into the center. So we got this extrusion depth to 100. I'm gonna copy it. And let's go to transform, open it up. And here we got the anchor point. And we're gonna need to copy paste the 100 here, control V. And we're gonna distribute it by two. So it's gonna be 50. And check this out. The anchor point is going to jump right into the center. Let's go back to default. Let's rotate the animation, make sure that you're at the beginning. And we're gonna go to the Y rotation, activate the stopwatch. I'm gonna bring it somewhere here and add one instead of zero. Enter, and I'm gonna bring this keyframe at the very end. So if you hit play, it is rotating. Let's go and create a new composition, rename it as RGB, click OK. Drag and drop the text comp into the RGB comp. And let's go to the effects and presets, search for shift channels, and double click. And let's select the text, press Ctrl D two times to duplicate it. Let's go and select the first text layer. And we're gonna go to the blue, turn it off. A red, turn it off. Let's go to the second layer, turn off the green and turn off the blue. And the third layer, turn off the red and the green as well. And I'm also gonna rename them so you can understand it better. So now we're gonna need to switch up the blend modes, but as you can see, we got the 3D options here. So we're gonna go down here to the toggle switch, click on it. So now you can see the blend modes. Select all the three layers, go to the blend mode and change it to screen. And I'm gonna select the first layer with the green, press and hold shift and press the upper arrow two times. Now I'm gonna select the second layer with the red, press and hold shift, press the left arrow two times and I'm gonna select the last layer, press and hold shift, select the right arrow two times. So it's gonna look something like this. Now I'm gonna go back to the project, right click new comp, final comp, click OK, drag and drop the RGB, go to the effects and presets, search for CC glass, let's edit on the RGB layer, open up the surface, increase the softness to 40, Increase the height all the way up to 100 and also increase the displacement all the way up to 500. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in hue, drag and drop the hue saturation under the CC glass. I can increase the master saturation to max. And let's go back to the effects and presets, type in mosaic, double click. First, make sure to check the sharp colors here. And I'm gonna increase the horizontal block quite a bit. I gotta go all the way to 500 and I also gonna increase the vertical. 18. You also can animate it if you want. I'm going to bring this to the 10th frame, activate the stopwatch at the horizontal and vertical, bring it back. Let's go to the vertical block, decrease it to zero, hit play, and it looks like this. I'm also going to add some glow, go to effects and presets, type in glow, drag and drop the glow under the mosaic, glow threshold 75, glow radius 400, Let's duplicate this RGB layer, press Ctrl D. Let's select the second RGB and change up the glow threshold to 60. Let's go to the opacity and decrease it to 30. And that's how I make this mosaic glitch effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.